Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing a product called uh, Grinds. Cowboy Coffee Chew and Major League Coffee Dip. Now this stuff here is, uh, it's uh, coffee instead of uh, tobacco. Now the reason why I got the uh, research in this stuff was I drive a truck at night and sometimes you need a little pick me up and sometimes it's not always convenient to stop and get a cup of coffee so uh, I decided to buy some of this stuff the grinds comes in patches or pouches and it looks if I can get it in the camera like that comes in pouches like uh, chewing the back of it or a dip does like a Kodiak skull stuff like that and then the cowboy chew this uh, cowboy chew and the major league coffee dip is made by the same company. I didn't know that when I ordered it, but once I got it in, I could tell that they were made by the same company because on the back of this, if I can get it to focus, see what that looks like? Pretty much the same thing. Is this one now this product as you can tell if I can get it to focus contains just this stuff in case you couldn't read it it's coffee honey syrup creamer and all the components to creamer and it has like a milk derivative and all that other stuff. So it's got a little bit of stuff in it. Like I said, these two are made by the same company. And then the grinds. Has that. As the ingredients. And I'm thinking all these additives, it's hard for the general public, public to uh, pronounce. Is all the stuff that comes with the, like a creamer or something like that. So the Major League Dip, this is what it looks like. It's loose leaf, what we call loose leaf in the tobacco world. Now the, this right here tastes like a cup of coffee. You take a little pinch of that, put it in between your cheek and gum, and that's exactly what it tastes like is a cup of coffee. I prefer these two over this. I haven't tried the vanilla, I've tried the mocha. To me, the mocha tastes more like chocolate than it does coffee. If somebody would give me that pouch and tell me to tell them what it was, I'd have to say that it was chocolate with no coffee in it. So I've actually, when I ordered these, I got three cans of this off of Amazon and I'll put the link to it below. If you're into like a chocolate flavored with a hint of coffee, this would be good for you. If you want something that tastes like coffee, these two right here are your best bet. The only thing about this is, uh, as we used to say in the dip world, it will walk on you. Uh, you end up uh, chewing up pieces of uh, coffee beans, which is fine with me because I like coffee. But uh, I prefer these two over this. I haven't tried the vanilla. The reviews on the vanilla online is bad. I don't think I read one review that said it was good. So we might do another video on what it tastes like, but I know the reviews on it's not good. The one thing that is cool about these uh, these grind pouches is they, the top comes off of them. And say if you don't think you've got all the flavor out of that pouch, you could put it in here, which is kind of nasty if you really think about it, but that's what the top does. I'll probably end up saving these containers for something. Uh, I've actually give one of those containers away to a friend for him to try it and uh, he says he likes it pretty good so but as far as the reviews go I'd rather have these two over the grinds so hope y'all doing good if you got any questions about these products just let me know I'll have uh, some links down in the description below as far as the grinds the major league and the cowboy chew 
these two, like I said, are by the same people. So whichever one's cheaper, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the cowboy chew was a little more expensive than the major league. I'm not 100% sure why it would be, but uh, I think this was a little bit cheaper. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll leave links in the description for them below. Hope y'all doing good. And as always, see you on the next one.